Welcome to the N-Word for Nerd Podcast. We're about to do a quick review on King Richard. As you can see, I don't got my crew with me, but the force will always be with me. I know Jaren's somewhere rolling his eyes, but he's going to have to take it and deal with it. So I don't know if you guys noticed, I made the color and everything here black, and I'm explaining that in a second. But before I explain that, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Everything Head Cannon Circus on Facebook, YouTube, Anchor FM, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. We all here, Head Cannon Circus. We love you. Make sure you comment. We love your comments because we're going to read a bunch of comments off when the show coming up. So we're here for it. We love it. We love it. We love the interaction. And if you want to guest on the show, please let us know. We'll make it happen as well. So we're going to review King Richard here, which was a debut on HBO Max and in theaters. And yes, I put my font in black because we're going to have to do the Black Father Power Ranking Awards. So before I jump into the stuff I didn't like, but let's talk about the stuff I did like about the movie because Will Smith is a beast in this. I do feel like, and I'm saying this for my, my black people, y'all know what I'm about to say, or y'all, when I say this, you know what I mean. I do feel like he, he gets a little bit into his, like, slavey talk bag. Like, uh, yes, sir, but we going to do a, a book. And now I have no knowledge of Richard Williams outside of knowing that he's Serena and Venus's dad. So I don't know if he he speaks like that. So when I saw this movie, I don't know if he spoke like that or whatever. After the movie, I listened to him speak. He just speaks like a, a you know just a guy that a little southern, but it just has just maybe he doesn't have the, the, the huge grasp of the English language, but it's not slavish. If that's you know what I was saying, just more like he speaks more with a little bit of slang and dialect to it, but not slavish. So I think Will creeps into there a little bit here and there, but I can't take away from his performance because. Halfway through the movie, I think it's a halfway, one third through the movie, I forgot it was Will Smith. I was think I was watching Richard Williams here, King Richard. So for people who don't know, this is a story of, again, Richard Williams, Serena and Venus's father, and what he had to do to pretty much get them on and put them on. This movie is not about Serena and Venus. So before you come up here, or Venus and Serena, before you come up here being like, man, ain't he show the Williams sisters. This is about King Richard. Can, can a black man have a movie? Can a black man have a movie without him selling drugs, being a pimp, or, or being some super action star hero? Can he just be a regular father? Can we get some black father love up in here? As a black father and a father of two girls myself, it was cool to see this, man. My girls have just started track, and they're just beginning their track journey. If they want to continue it, I'm always going to give them that full support. But to see how Richard um, really pushed his daughters, uh, he, got, he had to get the knowledge himself. And once he got the knowledge, he would try to teach them what he learned. And even when he didn't have the knowledge, he would watch other people with the knowledge and transition that over to them. And he really, really tried his best to, to, to get them on when people weren't trying to let them on. And I thought that was just a wonderful thing of persistence. And hell, this dude was still working a night job while he was doing this and being active in his uh, his kids' lives. And um, he just, they, they presented him as just such a great father, but not a great father because he's like, oh, I'm supporting my kids. I'm working hard for them. It was a great father just because you could tell he was loving. And that's a lot of things you get sometimes in these movies. You get like this integral relationship between the kids or the, the the pro prospect or the athlete and the the father or the trainer. And it's like, well, you, you know, you just are pushing me too hard. It didn't feel that way. It felt like Richard was like, hey, I know where to put the gas on my kids. I don't want to pull up. Sometimes when he pulled up, it wasn't to the liking of a lot of people that were doing things for him. A lot of it for free. But I, I just thought it was just a good characterization to show, you know, a man put his mind to something and he was blessed to have buy-in from his, his wife, the family, the daughters, and so as a family unit, how they progressed and went through this. Um, one other thing I did like about this movie is that I did enjoy the performances from the girls, not just the people who play Venus and Serena, but all of the daughters. They did a very good job. They felt like children. They felt like kids. They felt like impressionable minds. They were very, you know, shy and coy and excitable. And, you know, when they went in these tournaments, they were like really, really excited. And it's not like TV or movie excited. Like you, I actually felt like these kids like had won this stuff themselves. They were so amped up. Um, shout out to the, the woman who plays the mother in this, um, that plays the Williams' mother. She's phenomenal. She, and her performance is so good because she isn't given a ton 
a ton to do verbally, but when she does speak, it, it means something. Like it's a scene where her, her and Richard get into it about a thing he just recently does, and when she starts laying it down, I'm like, he didn't pick the right one today. It, it, it works. Or just even as you watch the scenes, the look she gives from like the background when things are going on around her, that, that's just, just acting one-on-one. That's just so good. And then when it finally does come to the head and she gets to really speak her piece on some things, you feel her. Like you feel her. And even to the point you feel her to the point that you're like, well, why are you still here? Like you a good woman, man. We need to get you suited up with, with somebody else because, you know, why are you here for this? But it works. It, it works so well in this movie. And I'm going to be high on it because, again, it, it's it, I can't, I maybe, I don't even know if I can count on my fingers or hands, how many movies where black men were at the forefront of it, but not only black men at the forefront of it, but black men as a father figure at the forefront of it. And black men as a father figure without all the, you know, the other stuff, like, you know, you watch Fences with Denzel, good movie, but Denzel's character has a lot of flaws. And, and that movie's supposed to be about the generational trauma and flaws, but that's what you see. Like it, it, it just was refreshing to see a father that believed in his family, that believed in Christ and the Lord, and wanted to see his family do well. Now I know some of this is all sugar coated. Some of the real stuff that went on with Richard Williams, which you can look it up for yourself about you know on having another family and how he did them. And again, it's it's other stuff that this movie leaves out or they hint at, but they don't elaborate on to which you can go and look up and make a decision for yourself. But I'm just judging the movie on what the movie gave us from how it's shot, how it's acted, how um, the movie made me feel. And it's beautifully shot. You know, it, it's wonderfully shot. If you want a movie that feels like California in, you know, eight, late 80s, mid 90s, 2000s, this movie does it. It, it does it 100, 120 million percent. Um, if you want just a powerful performance, everybody plays their role. Uh, my man Punisher, he coming in with the the floppy hair, with the mustache. My man, look, this dude looked like somebody that him when he played the Punisher. The Punisher would have had a problem with because homie come in, but dude is so good. Uh, John Bar- uh, Baratheon, I think his name is. He's so so good. He's really good, and I'm only used to him playing intimidating roles from you know, like I said, doing Punisher, Shane from The Walking Dead. So to see him be this lighter, more not go- but goofier guy, and it, it just works. Um, one of my favorite scenes in here is Richard does something with the girls that he doesn't like because he had a training session set up with him. So he goes and sees them, and they have their back and forth. And uh, uh, John goes, D- D- Richard, don't forget who pays for this house and is paying for all this stuff. And uh, Will Smith as Richard goes, C- come on, man, you better than that. You better, don't do that. You better than that. You're a better man than that. I just thought that was so funny because it's like, look, man, I'm taking care of you, and this is how you're doing me. We got training sessions, but it the reason why he takes his his daughters from the training session in that moment, it, getting what spectrum you sit on, you could agree or disagree. I agreed with it. I think he should have done a better job of communicating, but I agree with it. It's a very huge premise in this movie about Richard wanting to allow his girls to be girls, exceptional girls, exceptional girls, but to still be girls. He doesn't want them joining the pros too quickly so that they're overexposed and they get burnt out. He even at one point is like, hey, I don't want to do any more tournaments. I just want them to train. And they're like, no, no, we got to do the tournaments, get this money and get them going so they can get on the pro scene. He's like, no, 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 no. I just want them to train. And when they ask him about that, a lot of it's just about he feels like he needs to protect his daughters and allow them to still be girls and young ladies until they can grow into their womanhood. I think it's a beautiful thing. And then the moment where he lets them join, well, let's especially Venus join the pro circuit and all that stuff. It works because it's Venus wanting to do it. And if there's any way to show your father or your parents, as we all know that you're coming to your own is when you make a hard stance on something and you communicate, not why not complain, not pout, but communicate. This is what I want. Mother, father, this is what I want to do. And so when she does that, the father in me was like, well, you got to let her do it now. And he does to do it. And it's, it's such a great moment. Um, I, I didn't know, because again, again, I didn't know much about, you know, Richard William, Williams going into this. So some contentious moments and things he would say to people and to the media. I was like, man, this joker. And again, I agreed with it, but he, 
he keeping it in a hundred. Well, actually, after the movie looked at it, it goes, he he did this stuff, and this stuff is recorded of him having altercations with the media, being like, no, 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 you don't need to talk to my daughters, you need to talk to me, or if they're asking questions that he don't want them to ask or going too far, him in the middle of the interview, stepping up in front of him, like, I thought Will Smith was aggressive doing the role. Nah, bro, Will Smith, he toned it back a little bit, man. Richard was like, Man, I told you don't be asking them questions of my daughter. She gave you an answer now. Let it go. Like, like almost from where I'm from, that's fighting words. You get that close to my face, we got to fight because I'm about to push you up off me. But Richard was doing it. And, and But look, and it's strong fathering. But also, when we talk about things, like we go, oh, this, this generation is so soft and it's so weak. And look at, you know, I'm not, I'm not hating on her, but I'm using an example. Simone Biles and how she, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I remember one of my buddies, Coach, who does a sports show for us, straight from the hip, check it out. He was like, where's Simone Biles' daddy at? And when he said that, I'm like, why are they talking about her daddy? But seeing this movie maybe go, this is what he was talking about. Where was her daddy at? They'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, y'all don't need to talk to my daughter. You can talk to me. What questions I got for my daughter? Y'all can talk to me. And it's that, that, that ability for your children to still be children and be protected. Because at the end of the day, if you're any parent, you're always going to say, my mother says it to me all the time, no matter how old I get, I'm still her baby. And as a parent, you still have that one to protect your child situation. And I know some of y'all are going to flip off or she's an adult. She's like, eh, I don't care. We're talking about being parents. My parentage trumps all the media, the uh, endorsement deals. The kind of, eh. I'm the dad. If I'm stepping in, me, if my daughter's fine with me stepping in and handling this, it's getting handled. I don't care how the backlash feels. I don't care what it looks like. We talk about guys like LeVar Ball and all that stuff. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say I defend any actions on the totality of any of these people. I'm defending that them saying I'm the father and I'm going to protect my children. That's what I'm defending. Now, how they go about that, we can have discussions about that. But I'm not going to ever back down and say that's one of the main roles of any parent, but let alone as a father. So to see... Uh, Richard Williams being that mode and to see this is kind of his story with them. It was a beautiful thing to see. Um, you know, hopefully Will Smith gets nominated. I would pray and love if he won with this role or we get some, uh, some winners out of it. The mother and all. I hope somebody comes home with a trophy for some of this work because it's really good. It's really intriguing. It's really fascinating, but also it keeps your attention. It's an enjoyable movie. Uh, I know I haven't really given it a view of what goes on in the movie. I've just been talking about fatherhood and all that. But I, I will say this. If you – I would suggest this movie, as I said earlier. I would suggest it. So just kind of get – some of the things I didn't like briefly is that I do think they should have talked a little bit more about his unscrupulous past. <laughs> you know, having a whole other family and having whole other kids. They really don't – they mention one in a statement, but you never see it. And – you know, that kind of thing. I feel like that should have been brought up more. I think um, they should have brought up more. Uh, I guess some people felt Richard was always kind of, which they do show a little bit of, but like he was hard to control and manage the girls because of his attitude about what he wanted to do and whatever. whatever. It's like that coach, you know, you ever, and the people have coached, you got that parent that is always overriding the coach. They hit on that a little bit, but I know when I read, read into some of this, it was a lot more contentious than what they made it in a movie. They made it more annoying and lighthearted, but in real life, it was actually contentious. Like, bro, like we'll get rid of these girls because we don't want to deal with you. So I thought they could have pushed harder on that to show that if Richard kept doing what he was doing, he was going to end up making the girls fail because of his pride. So I, they, again, they do it in the movie, but again, from what I read, it was a lot worse. And I think that would have made for a better moment too, if they would have shown that, he pretty much almost was about to make them throw all this away from his attitudes and how he was carrying himself. Um, but it's a good movie, man. I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, if, if we're going to do our rating system, um, I would probably give this a 3.8 because I don't know how people feel about documentary films, but a 3.8 uh, for me, I think it's a four, but a 3.8, it's a good movie. If it's still on HBO Max as you're recording this, as I'm recording this, Go check it out. If it's in theaters, go check it out. Just go see this movie. I think it's really good. And if you're a father, go watch this movie. Bring your kids. Have your kids sit down and watch this movie together. I think it's a fun movie. It even made me be like, man, 
I'm slacking when my girls are track. Seeing what Richard was doing with his daughters, I'm out here slacking, bro. This joker working night shifts and two jobs and training them on the weekends in the rain. And I got one job and I'm recording this stuff. And I'm like, oh, track practice? I'm sitting up in the car sleep. So <laughs> shout out to that, making me feel like a bad dad. But we know I ain't going to tolerate that. We're going to make my girls stars too, no matter what it is. But uh, thank you guys again for listening to my King Richard review. Again, I'm giving a thumbs up. Go check it out. Please remember to share, like, follow us, subscribe at Head Cannon Circus everywhere, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. We're, we're everywhere under Head Cannon Circus. So hopefully uh, you enjoy our stuff. And also remember to comment. Tell us what you think of the movie. Tell us what you think of the site, uh, what we're doing here. You know, And if you want to have a guest on the show, let us know. We would love to have you and we'll bring you on, no doubt. All right, guys. Thank you all for listening to my review of King Richard. We will see you all next time. Peace. And you better than that, man. You, you better than that. Don't do that. You better than that.